There is something strange about the, the fissure eruption of the Sundunka Slingerfell uh, volcano, which erupted today. It was very small. It was not anything compared to what we have seen in January or in December last year. And uh, even the tremors chart was not as big or as long as uh, the other one in duration. The swarm of the earthquake, we could barely call it a swarm of earthquake. It was something, a cluster of um, numerous earthquakes, not as big as what we had in the January or December again. Uh, that is all. That's what we saw. And it's already the lava is a little bit subsiding. It looks as if it has reached equilibrium the eruption is going down but the, in the Swartzengi in the Elvdorp in the Thorbjorn we have all the uh, pointers of the uplift shows that the uplift is continuing and when we look at a depth chart depth model of the earthquakes we see a new cluster which is now toward the right is rising to the surface north of the Blue Lagoon Swartzengi and I will map that, put it on a map for you so you can see that. What is already near the surface at the Blue Lagoon is what we have now as an eruption. The bigger one is coming yet to the north of it. And this is the map I will show you now, the map of the earthquake uh, and the eruption today. Two main features. And the third one, I think, it will erupt stronger slightly toward the north of it, slightly toward the west. And that is my prediction. This may happen any moment. Let's wait and see. This is geology, of course. It's a solid rock and liquid. We have to wait and see. I'll put the video that I have for the January 14 eruption at the end of this video so you can compare them. That was bigger than this, and that on its own was not very big compared to the December one. Eruption seems as it started. We have the tremor chart showing the sharp rise in the harmonic tremors. The magma line and the tectonic line both have risen sharply. This is like the December 2023 eruption. As you can see, we have a huge number of the earthquakes in the Reckoness uh, area to the uh, north of the Grindavik to um, Sundunka crater area. We have a similar pattern to what we had also in the past uh, in the December 23 with the uh, tremors uh, and earthquake chart in this case. Uh, the land is yet continuing to rise. But what is interesting is the fat, big uh, earthquakes at the depth shown in this uh, uh, 3D chart. Compared with a few hours ago, there was almost nothing as if. And that shows eruption is near the surface. Earthquake, magma, everything is near the surface. At the surface, we see these slides. The weather is not good. We have no good visibility. But... Any moment we may see something like this, what we are seeing, what we have seen in the Sundunka eruption in 2023. This image is from that time. So we are waiting. I'm monitoring the situation. I will report it immediately to you when I see the first light.